Hi everyone, welcome to another week for Ross Q&A. My name is Rodrigo here at The Construct and today I'm going to be answering this question I found on Ross Answers uh, in which this person is trying to launch a URDF tutorial called uh, URDF Lesson, Lesson URDF, I'm sorry, um, in ROS2. So this is a URDF tutorial is uh, a, a tutorial that comes for uh, ROS1, so he wants to replicate that in ROS2. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And in here you can see that this person has already prepared down here a repository that works with uh, ROS2. So I'm going to show you how to implement that in ROS2. So we're going to go ahead and open up this link and you can see that this is the prepared um, repository for ROS2 for the lesson URDF that this guy wants to use instead of ROS1 with ROS2. So the first thing we're going to do is clone this repository. So you're going to click on this green button and uh, hit uh, this button right here to copy the URL and then we're gonna go to the constructsim.com which is our platform and you can create an account if you don't have one or if you do just log in and we're gonna go to the left panel here under my rosjects and we're gonna create what is called a rosject um, so when this page opens up, just hit on this button, create a new Rosject. And for the distribution, we're going to select the latest ROS2 distribution, which is Foxy. You can also do ROS1 here, which is great, but you know, we're going to use ROS2 Foxy. And name it whatever you want. We can name it Lesson URDF ROS2. You can make it private or leave it public. Um, and for the description here, I'm just going to paste the link for the question. I'm going to make it public so people can see it. Um, and just hit create. And you see that over here, the Rosject has been made in ROS2 Foxy. So we're going to go ahead and run it on this red button. While it's loading, let me go back to the constructsim.com and just um, show you our platform. And this is a place where you can come and learn robotics. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an advanced programmer. Um, you can come here and choose from over 50 robotics courses, starting from ROS Basics with C++ and Python, all the way to machine learning, and things like that so you can come here and choose a path a learning path and just start learning so i recommend you guys create an account all right so we go back to our ross check and we can see that it's loaded so the first thing we're going to do like i said was to clone that repository so we can close this and we don't need it and over here we're going to open up a web shell There you go. And we're going to go into our ROS2 workspace. This is analogous to the Catkin workspace. So you can see we, all, we have a Catkin workspace, but we're going to do our work in the ROS2 workspace. So we're going to enter that with CD ROS2 underscore workspace. And we're going to enter our SRC folder. And in here, we can clone it, the repository, just type in git clone and pasting that URL. Oh, I think there was an issue with copying the URL. Yeah, I can see that it's not the same. So, there you go. So now we can see that it's been cloned right here, lesson URDF. So the next thing we're gonna do is source our environment and compile uh, our, our environment. So 
the first thing is to source and we're gonna do this address source opt ROS foxy local setup dot bash there you go don't worry about this message and then we're also going to source our ROS2 workspace so for that we can go back with cd dot dot and then source install local setup dot bash there you go and finally we can uh, compile so for that we're in the right location so we're going to type in calcon build which is the analogous for cat can make in, in ROS1 so you can see that it's been made and um, we, now we can technically we can launch uh, whatever's in that repository so we're gonna go in and look at it you can see that there's a launch folder so there's probably a launch file that we can use there you go so we're just gonna launch that and see what happens to do that uh, we just type in rust to launch the name of the package which is called lesson urdf and then view robot launch dot pi oh okay we didn't source it correctly so let's try that again just go back to the ROS2 workspace and source install setup bash. Now with that, we can try building again. command there you go oh it tells us that we don't have a package called joint state publisher GUI and that's actually something that um, the peop the person that made the repository once warned us about I'm sorry not the person who created the repository but a person in here there you go this is it here you see that you may need to install the join state publisher so we can do that by installing this with this line there's an error there that I can see but we can fix it over here is ROS foxy join state publisher so we're gonna install these two packages there it is So we can launch it again and there you go you can see that we have a lot of warnings and we'll fix those in a minute but it the launch file did not output an error so we can go and see what's been displayed so to do that we go down here to the graphical tools and here you can see that the URDF for the tutorial has been created here if it looks like this you can just click on this button to reset the view and there you go you can see that that is the URDF but there's a problem where we can't see the meshes for the URDF um, and in theory you could use the joint state publisher GUI to oh, there you go to move the joints but you, we can't see that mesh so what we're gonna do 
we're going to close this and exit out of this launch file and we're going to copy there's probably a mesh a meshes folder inside that repository um, let's see there you go we can see that that um, folder is probably not in our environment, so we're gonna copy it. We're gonna uh, put it into our into our install environment. So to do that, we're gonna go to where it's pointing us. So if we go and see, look at the error, you can see that. There you go. It's not finding it. In, in this directory. So we're gonna go there. So copy this and just type in CD and paste that. I'm sorry, with the slash in the beginning. And there, you can see that there's no meshes folder like in, in here, there's this mesh folder and here there isn't one. So it's probably an error in compilation, but a quick fix that we can use is just to copy that folder into here. So we can type in cp slash dash rf, and we're gonna put in the path where that mesh is, where that meshes folder is. So this is it. And there you go. So we're going to copy this folder into this location. So you can just type in dot to indicate it's this location. And if we do an ls, you'll see that the meshes is uh, folder is now there. So let's try and run it again. There it is, the command to launch it. And when we go back to our URDF, you can see that now the meshes have been displayed. So let me just make that a little easier to see. So there, this is a, pla a planar um, manipulator. So again, you can use the joint state publisher GUI to move that URDF. So there you go. This is the lesson URDF tutorial using the, repos the public repository that this person, Olmerg, provided us in a ROS check that is running in ROS2 Foxy. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments and I'll address them as soon as I can. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week for our next ROS Q&A session. Bye-bye.